Hi, I'm Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel. Something different today, we've hopped on a Liberty bus to our start point at Gory Pier instead of driving. You know what, I think Paddy and I might start doing this all the time. Especially now I'm a pensioner and get free bus travel. Today's video starts at Gory Pier, just below Montorgai Castle on the east coast of Jersey Channel Islands. We set off heading southwards along the sea wall from Gory Pier, before dropping down onto the beach at Grooville Bay. and then heading up and along the first four holes of Royal Jersey Golf Club. We continue along the sea wall before dropping down to the beach again. We pass Le Hurel before regaining the seawall at Le Rock. Where we walk to the end of the pier, the southernmost point of Jersey. Here, Paddy and I are arriving at Gory Pier on our bus. I'm taking advantage of my new Liberty Bus Avanci card, valid for five years, which gives me free bus travel all around the island. I presume this is a joint venture between the states of Jersey and the bus company. And although I've never taken buses before, I'm actually loving this and I have to say the staff of Liberty Bus are all brilliant. The uh, drivers and indeed the staff in town who issued me with the card. So a big thanks to the States of Jersey and to Liberty Bus. Right. Hi, I'm Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel and as you can probably see in the background we're at Gory Pier and we're doing the next step of our walk heading southwards down the east coast of Jersey. It uh, should be a lovely walk today. The weather's nice. It's the 5th of June, Wednesday, and look who's come along for the ride. He's in the shadow, you might not even be able to see him, it's our Paddy G. So here we go. This is a lovely part of the island, gory. And the problem we've got today, Paddy off the the problem we've got today is that, unlike the north coast of Jersey, we have not got uh, nice footpaths all down the east coast. So, we're going to have to experiment a bit because 
I haven't walked all of the East Coast before. Um, definitely a lot of it. We can walk along the beaches. We can go along the sea walls. We can also walk along the edge of Royal Jersey Golf Club, which is what we're going to do. Uh, we'll reach Jersey's southernmost point. And uh, then we'll start heading along the south of Jersey. So it should be nice. Hello. And uh, as I say, beautiful day. What more could you want? If we followed the road that goes al along the coast, it does go inland on quite a few places. So I'm going to try and stay as near to the coast as possible. There may well be, as we start heading towards town, a couple of beaches that I don't think we can get around. I'll try. The tide is pretty low at the moment, who knows? But if we can't, then we may have to double back, find the road and do a bit along the road before we can get back on a beach. So, here we are. These gardens are lovely. We have walked this little bit before. And this is Grooville Bay. None of these houses were here, oh, what, 10, 15 years ago? Certainly not 25 years ago. For those of you who remember Jersey from way back, there used to be, I think it was called, uh, well, I don't know what it was called. It was a barbecue restaurant. And I think there were wagons in it. Well, that was there. I think it was run by a gentleman, if I remember correctly, his Thai wife. But that was many moons ago. So what we'll do... We'll drop down onto the beach in a minute. So there's something new about today's video and as you may have seen if I've included it at the beginning of this video Paddy and I arrived on a bus and uh, the reason for that is I'm now 65 and I get a free bus pass. And I think it's a good idea because if I get the bus to locations and then walk, I obviously don't have to walk back to the car afterwards. So in the, up until now when I've done a hour and 20 minute walk when we've reached the destination Paddy and I then got an hour and 20 walk back to the car which was fine because we filmed it but now we should be able to walk much further in one direction and hence I suspect we'll finish the east coast of Jersey today and start heading along the south coast
Now, unfortunately, the time means I can't let Paddy off his lead, which I know he'd love to. We're only going to walk a little bit along the beach then. We're going to nip up and head along Royal Jersey Golf Club. How beautiful it is now. They would be nice, wouldn't they? to say as a child growing up in Jersey this is a beach we would never come to you'd go to some Wands, you'd go to some Brella, you would go to uh, even well half the par and even along the front just out of town but never come out here and as you can see it's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Pretty spectacular. So, I can see Royal Jersey Golf Club approaching. What we'll do is, we'll leave the beach because you can walk right along the seawall on the edge of it and uh, we might may be able to get some idea of just how tough the rough is at Royal Jersey Golf Club at the moment because it is virtually unplayable and it has been for the last two or three months and I was talking yesterday, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday, to Wayne Stevens, who is a member of Royal Jersey Golf Club and who used to be a professional golfer and who was leading the Open, the British Open, at one stage. And... Uh, he can't believe how tough the rough is and he said it is set up Royal Jersey Golf Club at the moment is set up like a British Open golf golf course it's the rough is that tough he said the only difference is the fairways at Royal Jersey are narrower than they would be for an open and uh, if, if you're not into golf, don't worry, I've nearly stopped talking about it and we'll get on to uh, other Jersey matters. But to have Royal Jersey that set up that difficult is a bit crazy because your average golfer, of which I'm one, 14.8 handicap at the moment, it is impossible, absolutely impossible. You hit it two yards off the fairway and either you lose your ball or you can't get it out. Buddy. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna cut around the back to Royal Jersey Golf Club. So, 
This, by the way, that you can see either side of the path, is what the rough it's the rough is like almost all over the golf course. Can you imagine trying to hit a golf ball out of that? Just fell over. That was lucky. Uh, just around here. As you can see, that is the sixth green. That is Fort William, which is a private residence. That is the fourth green of Royal Jersey Golf Club, little par three. Royal Jersey starts par five, par three, par five, par three. We're going to try and stay out the way of golf balls. As you can see, it's the rough just off the green. <laughs> For anybody who plays golf, you'll know that that is virtually unplayable. And it is all over the course. The course looks amazing, but it's in virtually impossible to play. So we're going to walk along the edge of the golf course for four holes, the, f the fourth, the third, the second, and then walk past the, f the first tee and carry on. I mean, this sort of grass doesn't even qualify as rough at the moment. If you're in that, you're very happy. If you're in that, you're not so happy. Or this. But as you can see, it's quite beautiful. Be amazed, in fact, if we don't find some golf balls while we're walking up here. Hurry, look for golf balls. Especially just ahead here, which is if people push their drive just a little bit on the third, it goes in this sort of stuff and it's virtually impossible to find. So the fairway is just off to our right. And as you can imagine, if 
you hit it in that. <laughs> Say sayonara to your golf ball. Paddy, we're going this way. stop and look for golf balls but I know if I wandered around in that within five or ten minutes you would have five or ten golf balls since I retired three years ago I haven't bought a golf ball because I have come out, I think, on three occasions, maybe four, at like 10 o'clock at night in the pitch black, and each time I've found sort of 100, 130 golf balls. Huh. Paddy, after you. Thank you. Lovely day. It is. Yes. And over there, there are wild orchids. Yes. Royal Jersey Golf Club has got lots of fauna and flora on it. Yes. Yes. Definitely. I really need to train Paddy up to search for golf balls. It's getting a bit long. <laughs> I mean, look at this. People really do hit their golf balls down here. <laughs> Got no chance. Not a chance. Paddy. 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 <laughs> Sorry. There's people teeing off on the third. It's worth staying here in case. Yeah, you've got to watch out. It is possible to land down here. Okay, my friends. Whilst we're ducking down to avoid golf balls coming our way, uh, we might as well finish part one of this video. There'll be another two parts for this one with us reaching our destination, La Rock, in part three. Paddy and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment and a massive thank you to all of you who have subscribed as I'm editing this. We're up to 663. Hopefully, We'll see you all again soon.